it's Justice. Today's question is about loosening up your dog so he becomes comfortable in the dog run. My dog's really awesome with other dogs. He's like super cool at doggy daycare and when we used to go to puppy play he was just like the best. But when we go to dog parks he's like shy and I'm not sure how to shake him out of that. I am privy to some inside information about this dog owner, and I know that her dog is a small Havanese who's pretty young. She said that she brought him to puppy play dates when he was younger, and now he goes to daycare on a regular basis. But I have a feeling that in the daycare situation, there are no big dogs. And what this dog might be afraid of is big dogs running and playing in a completely new environment. I would encourage this owner to keep going to the dog run and feel out the environment inside. Take him out if he's super overwhelmed, but if there's just two large dogs that are not doing anything but laying around, encourage him to engage with those large dogs. When you're inside the dog run, try to ignore your dog a little bit. I wouldn't coddle him, I wouldn't cuddle with him. Tell him he's a good boy and go ahead and go sniff. Walk around the perimeter of the dog run and explore the entire area so that your dog, who's a little nervous and will hang out by your side, might be coaxed into smelling something here and there, and maybe even will engage with a larger dog in a calm, friendly way. Good luck. <coughs> Today's trick is jump through my arms. Ideally, when you first start teaching it, you want to be able to have a hula hoop, but I don't have one, so I'm going to teach those of you who don't have one how to teach it without. I'm going to start off using a wall, or in this case, a couch, so I can create the semblance of a really large hoop. I'm going to take a treat in my hand and put it on the other side of the hoop. And my dog's very close to the hoop. And then I'm just going to tell him to jump. Okay, jump! And he walks through. He didn't even go through all the way. So you might want to lure him with a piece of treat all the way through the hoop. Once your dog is consistently walking through the very large hoop, you just want to try to move away from the wall and make the hoop a little bit smaller. This might be challenging for the bigger dogs. So the treat is going to go on the floor and my hoop is going to be like here. Okay, jump! Good boy. He's pretty much walking through the hoop, but that's okay. He's still doing it right, so he's still gonna get the treat. If your dog walks around the hoop, you wanna make sure that you catch them before they get the treat, because you don't wanna teach them that when they walk around the hoop, they get their reward. The third and final step is to add a little bit of height with your hoop and a little bit of distance. So I'm gonna put the treat further away from my dog my dog is going to be in a standstay further away from me, and I'm going to bring my hoop a little bit off the ground, squatting. It's really important to not put your head in the middle of the hoop, because your dog will run and jump into your head, and it hurts, I can tell you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, jump! Good boy! It is probably the number one crowd pleaser. Good luck with that.